There's rich, and then there's the super yacht rich, and if the latest reports are true, the yachts don't get any more super than Bill Gates' flagship, the Senate Aqua, the world's first hydrogen powered super yacht. Everyone definitely wants to have one of these magnificent beauties, but there is just one problem, actually a big big problem. This super yacht was way out of the price range of most guests at the Monaco Yacht Show 2019, where it was unveiled as a concept design. The 676 foot super long mega yacht, that's more than twice the size of a standard football pitch, will be launched in the year 2024 after 5 years of design, development and testing and has a mind blowing price tag of $650 million, which would make it one of the most expensive yachts in the world. Designed by Dutch company Synod, the Aqua Yacht, the 376 foot long ship that runs entirely on liquid hydrogen with a green tech and luxury combo, the Sino Aqua no doubt pulls all other super yachts to shame and makes it look like something pulled out from the future, just as we see in movies. The days of spending millions fueling up to your super yacht with diesel are long gone. Senate Yacht Architecture and Design 112 meter hydrogen electric yacht concept Aqua was designed for a discerning forward looking owner. Extensively developed over a period of 5 months, Aqua was created in collaboration with Lateral Naval Architects, which developed the yacht's hydrogen technology and naval architecture, fusing groundbreaking technology with cutting edge design. Aqua features a hydrogen electric system. The liquefied hydrogen is stored at extremely low temperatures. In two 28-ton vacuum isolated tanks, a spiral staircase in the center of the boat leads to the bottom deck where these monoliths sit behind strengthened glass. Designed to keep the liquid hydrogen stable at negative 253 Celsius, that's the temperature that hydrogen needs to be cooled to exist as a liquid, the tanks will be viewable through a glass panel at the base of a luxurious spiraling staircase at the center of the vessel. Hydrogen fuel cells are a zero emission energy source and many believe that hydrogen is the fuel of the future. The liquefied hydrogen is converted into electrical energy by proton exchange membrane fuel cells, with water being the only byproduct. These tanks can split off power at up to 4 megawatts, powering two 1MW electric propulsion motors and two 300 kilowatts bow thrusters for tighter maneuvering. A 1.5MWH battery pack acts as a buffer, providing instant access to power and running the ship's electrics, and is charged as necessary by the fuel cell. The results is a top speed of 17 knots, a cruising speed of 10 to 12 knots, and a range of 3,750 nautical miles. That is faster than most of the super yachts currently in the market. There will be a backup diesel engine just in case hydrogen fuel stations are simply not commonplace yet, but hopefully one day a backup diesel engine won't be necessary. The interior meanwhile has been designed around providing as much privacy and space as possible. Accommodation is for a total of 14 people. The full 15.4 meter beam owner's pavilion occupies the front half of the upper deck. The aqua could usher in a new age of environmentally friendly super yachts. A yacht this huge definitely takes a huge crew to run, you know, 31 people to be exact. A crew that large also comes at a hefty price. Paying all of those expensive salaries adds up quickly, the crew could cost $5 million or more. After a long day lounging on the top deck or swimming in the cascading infinity pool, you can retire to one of the world class quarters on board. The aqua will feature a master pavilion, two VIP staterooms and four regular staterooms. Each room will feature a minimalistic Japanese aesthetic, after all, that's more luxurious than Ryo Khan's inspired bedroom. We can't think of anything more classy. If you need a place to burn off the calories from your mimosas and seafood tower, don't worry. The Sino Aqua comes completely with an extensive indoor health and wellness center, featuring a gym, a hydro massage room, and a yoga studio. Perhaps the most impressive feature of the Aqua is the owner suite, which sits front and center on the upper deck. The suite is like an observatory of sorts. Thanks to the 180 degree view, you'll really feel like you're on top of the world in this fabulous suite. Key features of the owner's pavilion includes an open plan layout divided by wooden screens, floor to ceiling windows on a port of starboard sides, a large central skylight and a crafted wooden structure. The apartment also includes a large bathroom, dressing room and spa. 
If you somehow manage to get bored up the sun all day, you can enjoy some fast-paced water sports action. The Sino Aqua will be equipped with space for two 32-foot long tender boats and three jet skis. After a jet ski race, you can watch a movie in the cinema, and this is just one of the many casual entertaining spaces on board. You can even visit your neighbor on his or her super yacht a few nautical miles down the coast. The Sino Aqua will have a helipad and a room for a passenger drone. You could use a traditional helicopter, of course. For security, the Sino Aqua is fitted with a missile detection system, bulletproof glass, and anti glare equipment that can make pictures taken by paparazzi useless. At the front of the yacht, Bow Observatory accommodates two people who can enjoy views of the horizon through giant windows. Other design feature includes an optional helipad, where a hydrogen power Evtol can drop off guests, and a mini waterfall that cascades down from the deck pool over stone steps. Aqua also features an indoor health and wellness center with a hydro massage room, yoga space, and workout floor. The circular staircase sits at the core of the yacht, linking all, um, how many decks do you think would be sufficient for a super yacht of this size? Three? Four? Nope. The Aqua will have five decks, each more impressive than the last. The billionaire playboy that purchases the Aqua can enjoy sumptuous beef tenderloin in the 14-seat formal dining area. Described as a true spectacle, the staircase bypasses the two hexagonal liquefied hydrogen tanks which sit behind a stream of strengthened glass. The exterior, meanwhile, has been inspired by ocean swells and features a curved top deck integrated bow observatory, glass band windows, and a raised front profile making the aqua look like something right out of a science fiction movie. It would be right at home on the Canto Bight casino plan from Star Wars, The Last Jedi. The owner of the Sino Aqua won't have to spend a bunch of money on diesel, but that doesn't mean operating this massive super yacht will be cheap. Far from it. Super yachts typically cost about 10% of the purchase price to operate per year. If that estimate is accurate, then that means that maintaining the Sino Aqua would cost as much as $65 million per year. It's entirely possible that we see some more super yachts like this one in the next decade. More billionaires in the world means more super yachts, and today's tech savvy billionaire has no interest in a super yacht powered by outdated fossil fuels. Aqua designer Sino had a forward looking and discerning owner in mind when the Aqua concept was imagined. The technology is groundbreaking, and if it's a success, you can bet that it will be the gold standard in the future. That's it, folks. What do you think of the hydrogen powered Sino? Aqua Super Yacht. If you had $650 million laying around, would you buy one of these? Would you pay $65 million just for maintenance? Would you chill out in the infinity pool or just relax on deck and soak up the sun? Would you throw a massive ranger and party like it's 1999? Can you imagine having a sea do race alongside this luxury super yacht? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.